Brisbane's News Talk 1116 4BC. Okay, hands up anyone that's ever been through a midlife crisis. What age is it? I've got... Oh, it can happen early. Some people have in their 30s. I've had three so far. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting ready for number four because I've got the tendency to buy another motorbike. Oh, no. I'm ready. What happened to the other ones? Oh, they, what did you, you buy? Cut, they come and they go. Oh, jet skis. You want to buy yeah. like that? Well, look, Moy, there's a great musical. You have to go and see it. it. It's all about midlife. It's midlife, the crisis musical. It's on at the Stage Door Dinner Theatre at Bowen Hills and Damien Lee is the manager there and also... One of the uh, cast. Hello, Damien. You, Loretta. Good, Good to see you. And Lloyd. Now, how does a young bloke like you get involved in something like this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, keep sweet talking. <laughs> Money's in the envelope on the way. Uh, no, look, it, it was just a musical that uh, I had heard about in the United States. Mm. And uh, I've spent the last four years trying to get the rights to it to bring it to Australia. Wow. And uh, they weren't releasing it and keeping it very much into just touring around the States. And then finally... This year I rang the distributors again. I said, look, what about that musical? And they said, well, yeah, there's a possibility this time. So, so it's a real hard process trying to get something like that, when, you know, to get the rights to, to put on a production like that? Is it, it, it can be. Yeah. Um, like uh, Gilligan's Island, the musical, we did the um, Asia-Pacific um, premiere of that as well. And that took me ages to find the right people to talk to yeah. to, to get the rights. And eventually I was talking to uh, one of the uh, relations of Sherwood Schwartz himself. Yeah. Wow. To try and get the the rights out here, so and that was unbelievable. That ran like twenty six weeks in Brisbane. Gosh, now with this midlife crisis, it's a bit like menopause. The musical we all love that. Yeah, and this time though, uh, it's all uh, original music, uh-huh. and it's uh, all about. Uh, and because menopause was ma- mostly for women, mm. this one actually though is for men and women. Okay. So Moyd was right because guys tend to want to go out and buy the bike, or <laughs> buy the red sports car. <laughs> Or date the younger With the woman. young girl on the back of the <laughs> motorbike. Yeah. Um, and it also goes through those sorts of things. It what goes... happens to women? Not that I, I don't really well, know yet. Women tend to have the uh, the menopause thing. They've got that area sewn oh, up. Oh, they don't have a midlife crisis. They, they have, have a, a long cr- summer. That's a menopause. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's right. Uh, and also, of course, uh, you know, they go through divorces and wanting to hook up with younger men. There's, mm-hmm. there's a great scene in the show where they, where they go to uh, their 30th school reunion. Oh, yeah. And they're, they're all sitting around having martinis and cocktails going, you know, the men are all so bald and fat. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, and it's true. It is true. Sorry, guys. Sorry, no, guys. No, girls, we do talk about that sometimes. Do you, you really? Well, you do. You talk, you think, sometimes you look at the blokes and they, you think that they haven't really aged very well. What happened to him? Yeah, mm. what happened to him? He was school captain and he was all right back then, yeah. but not anymore. Anyway. Now he looks like me. <laughs> so, oh, you're doing all right. So who, you're in the cast and who yep. do you play? Uh, we actually all play different characters oh. uh, because it's it's a series of sketches and vignettes that take us through the midlife process, uh, both for men and women. So, uh, you know, I play everything from a weekend warrior because we all all like to think oh, we're yes. fitter and stronger than we really really are. Get, get, got motorbikes on stage? No, I wish. Oh. This is a basketball Moid. theme one, so we're playing basketball on stage. He could be a new character, Moyd. He he'd be perfect. He He's a tennis play. player. See, and plays touch rugby. No, I want the motorbike. I can, I can see you fitting right in there. <laughs> But also for guys, you know, wearing clothes that just really aren't supposed to be worn by oh. those sorts of guys anymore. Don't you look at me. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true as well. Yeah. And now Susan Stenlake is in there. That's right. And yes. she is the sister of Ian. Ian Stenlake. That's right. Oh. From uh, Sea Patrol. Gee. So, And, uh, you know, she's just fantastic on stage. Uh, it's an ensemble of six cast. Mm-hmm. And uh, as I said, you know, we just take you on that uh, roller coaster ride of things that go wrong in midlife. Okay. Is th- here's the opening thing from the, the stage production. Does this give people a bit of an idea? What it's It'll all about. give you, as we say, welcome to midlife. Okay. If you suffer from heart palpitation, constipation, or from hyperventilation, <laughs> sudden binges, sudden purges, any male destructive urges, if you dress in wool and flannel, and you watch the History Channel, guess what? That's midlife. I love the History Channel. <laughs> welcome to midlife. And C-SPAN. Welcome to hard times. Soft pecs, mammograms, and prostate checks. Stiffness, back pain, every single time it rains. Eyesight gone. There you go. Oh, that that's is so, uh, great. so true. Oh, <laughs> isn't it? Because the eyesight, that's another thing that goes when you're in midlife. Yeah. And you know how things, you know, you used to be able to pick up a piece of paper and read it. Now you've got to, now you've got to stretch your arms right out to full length and squint. Know? 
And it's true. It yeah. really is. That's starting to happen to me. Midlife, the, Loretta. Yeah, oh, welcome. No. Welcome. Oh, and um, <laughs> the stage door theatre there is great. It's, it's, now, which part of the Twelfth Night is that? It's in? actually in the lower level of the complex. Mm-hmm. So uh, uh, people will know the Twelfth Night itself because many people have gone along to shows there. Mm. Uh, we're located um, just on the other side of the courtyard is, is our entry and mm-hmm. you can come down. It's an intimate 80-seat venue mm-hmm. and we do a full three-course meal and show. So wow. you can have dinner and show or you can just come and see the show only or, you know, whatever you, you really want. Gee, that's great because the dinner theatre thing, it was really big uh, quite a few years ago. Yeah. So uh, is it coming back? Well, it, it's there's a, a difference because you've got dinner theatre, which is an American-style thing, mm-hmm. and theatre restaurant. Now, theatre restaurant's probably the one that most people would yes, think of here right. mm. where you go along and you see, you know, comedy and vaudeville type of acts and mm. that sort of died out. Mm-hmm. Uh, but dinner theatre is where you can go along and see popular plays and musicals mm-hmm. um, mm. while having a three-course meal. So some of the big ones over in the States that seat like 2,000 mm. in their restaurant uh, and they all... Also, can go and see Les Mis yes. or Miss Saigon or any of those big musicals yeah. as well. Do they eat during the performance? No, uh, we actually have entree and main course, then the first half of the show. So right. you don't have to worry about people scratching no. their plates for the last <laughs> morning. That'd put you off. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we clear all of that away before we start the show. Oh, You're it's... getting some good crowds so far? It is, yeah. Getting great crowds. And, um, you know, I think uh, the momentum, because we're playing through until the 30th of April. So mm-hmm. I think once the word of mouth gets out there, uh, one woman came up to us on Saturday night and said, I have never laughed so much. Mm. And you you could hear it in their voices, you know, and yeah. hear it in the laughter. And there's so many songs that pertain to, you know, you can relate to it. Uh, whether Even if you're not into midlife age mm. or if you've gone past midlife, you'll remember <laughs> what it was, hopefully. Uh, but uh, for those coming up into midlife, this is what's in store. Yeah, oh. blokes, this is for you. Oh. Honey, I know tonight's our seven-year anniversary, but I got some good news and I got some bad news. The bad news is I'm leaving you. <gasps> but here's the good news. There's a smart and sexy girl, we're a perfect match. And I've got this little nagging itch that only she can scratch. I met her at the theater, shared french fries and a shake. Next week you'll get to meet her when she's on spring break. (laughs) Though my timing's not ideal, I hope that you will know. It's not your looks or lack of sex appeal that makes me want to go. She's so full of life and wit It's like a fire inside me's lit She thinks I look just like Brad Pitt Oh, Oh, it takes a lot of grit But I quit The the funny thing is That's one song that I sing in the show And I'm here saying she thinks I look like Brad Pitt (laughs) I can see a resemblance Yeah, yeah, yeah Just put those glasses back on now, Loretta (laughs) Oh, it does sound like a lot of fun And the cast, as you said, yourself and the others They're all local people? Yes Yes, uh, we believe strongly in uh, you know creating employment opportunities for local mm-hmm. actors and singers and dancers. So uh, we uh, we always cast locally, um, and uh, you know it's just a, a fantastic ride. And there's so much talent here in Brisbane mm. that is not discovered because we import a lot of our shows from down south, mm. and you know they don't get a, a chance to to showcase what we can do. So. Mm. Now you tell know. us, uh, the, 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 it's the Stage Door Dinner Theatre, Bowen Hills, under That's yeah, right. the 12th saying, Night Theatre. Yeah. Yep, yeah, in so the lower level of the mm. complex. So. Yeah, because I don't think I've been there. I've been upstairs. I've been downstairs before. Yeah. I don't think. No, no, it's a great little – you know, the 12th Theatre's been around for a long time. It has been. And it's a great, it's a great little place, isn't it? A great it, venue. It's a real boutique theatre, you know, and uh, it has been there for eons. Mm. And, uh, you know, we got the opportunity eight years ago to uh, to move into uh, 12th Night because we did a show called Ladies Night Upstairs, mm. which was very much the forerunner of the Full Monty. Oh. Uh, so, and uh, – and <laughs> I missed the, that one. <laughs> you see? Damn. Next um, time. So the owner um, of the 12th Night said, look, you know, there's a space downstairs. Yeah. Why don't you convert? it into a theatre and that's what we did and uh, you know we, we've been there ever since. So will you be taking this, this is the first time it's opened around the country here? Yeah, first time in uh, Australasia actually. Okay. So um, you know we, we do tour, we just did a tour of uh, Shirley Valentine down to Tasmania mm. and that went really well so uh, the next one on the boards is uh, our production of Mother and Son and oh, then yeah. probably this one after that. Just oh, expensive isn't it putting these things on the road? It is expensive and look any any uh, musical theatre, I mean I hate to have the, the budget Wicked or, or Dr Shivago no. Where those have, but um, even for us, you know, it's an expensive process. Mm. How do we get tickets? Uh, you just uh, simply give us a call on 3216 115, mm-hmm. or uh, alternatively, you can check out our website, which is stagedoordinnertheatre.com.au, and uh, come along for the, the ride of uh, midlife. Before we uh, go to the phones, though, let's just uh, get a few tears and a few blokes' eyes. Here's another piece from Midlife, the Crisis Musical. I don't mind his stethoscope, even though it's cold as ice. 
And I don't mind it when he checks my ears or inspects my head for lice. Oh. <laughs> I don't care about my thinning hair or my ever growing gut. <laughs> but I don't like it very much when he sticks his finger way up in my butt. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's that... for the blokes. Every bloke over 40 knows exactly what that's exactly. like. Mm. You well, think, you should do. You think the females have got it all with menopause? Ah, 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 nah, nah, nah. No, nah, nah. nah, it's a very up and close personal relationship with your doctor that you don't really want. But it's a great look. This is a great chance, like um, menopause, to just laugh about your situation in life and yeah. laugh about something we all go through. We need a laugh nowadays. We do. Yep. We, we certainly do. Oh, that was wonderful. Damien Lee, manager from the Stage Door Dinner Theatre at Bowen Hills there, and um, one of the cast of Midlife, the Crisis Musical. Go along and see it. Thanks, Damien. Thanks so much, guys.